Truth in government has been pressing for federal transparency and accountability since I left Washington over 25 years ago and founded it. In fact, in November 2014, I attended the National Defense Forum held at the Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California, and confronted a panel of senior defense officials as to why it is taking so long for the Defense Department to present an appropriate set of books to the Government Accountability Office so that the audit of the entire federal government could be done. And this has been a requirement since 1994. Thank you very much. I'm former Congressman Jody Aguardi, Westchester County in New York in the 80s, the first certified public accountant practicing CPA ever elected to Congress. I originally introduced the CFO Act in 1986, twice more in 1987. It was passed in 1990. You've got two major problems. Let me talk about briefly the numbers. The budget problem and a public relations problem. Mm. What's the budget problem? The budget this year, round numbers, $3.8 trillion. 65% of it, including the interest we pay out, is mandatory, including obviously a program like Medicaid. So 35% is discretionary. Right. Half that budget is the defense. So you got a problem to compete against the others in that 35%. Education, you name it, all kinds of important things. To do that, you gotta make a good case. How do you make a good case, I'll get to the public relations problem, accountability. When the DOD, the requirement for financial statements the act that I introduced started in 1994. The Controller General, in his report, the last statement put out, says that the armed services, the DOD, will not be able to comply and get an opinion because there are such material weaknesses in the way you account for things and you want more money. So is there a question in there? The question is, why is it taking so long? I mean. It's not rocket science accounting. You got to get the right people Anyone in there to, to try to figure out why you can't get an okay. audit of the DOD. Secretary James and Dr. Zakhan. Um, I'm going to, rather than try to explain why, I'm going to agree with you. It has taken too long. Stay tuned very shortly, like within the next year, you're going to see that we're going to have major advances. We're going to get there. Um, I had to grapple with that when I was comptroller. But one thing, and you know this very well, we're talking about a huge enterprise, $600 billion, give or take. Nothing like that anywhere else. Never had audits before till you actually push this act. The Pentagon has finished its first ever audit, possibly the biggest, most complex audit ever done. For nearly three decades, the Pentagon hasn't conducted one, even though it's been required to since 1990, when then President George H.W. Bush signed the Chief Financial Officers Act into law. That law requires all government agencies to conduct internal audits. The Defense Department says it was reluctant to conduct one in the past, but Defense Secretary Jim Mattis demanded one. The Pentagon's audit covered $2.7 trillion in assets and $2.6 trillion in liabilities for the 2018 fiscal year and took nearly a year to complete. The Pentagon is the only agency that cannot produce a budget that can be audited and presented to the American people. Every other agency passes those tests in terms of financial audits. In fact, the Department of Defense has never been audited, even though the DOD completes over 150 million financial transactions a year and makes up one fifth of federal spending. It should have happened many years ago, so too with the Department of Homeland Security, which also hasn't been audited. It's ludicrous that it's our taxpayer money and the DOD can't account for it. But even if Congress did force an audit, Tracking the records on the Pentagon's antiquated computer systems would be a nightmare. It's hard to know what we will find, exactly how much money can be saved, and whether anything should be changed until the Pentagon finally lets auditors past its barriers.